Welcome to a day of music and green space. Two of those, those things that so enhance our lives here in this neighborhood and beyond. It's a day for cautious celebration and somber reflection. Cautious celebration in the sense that it reminds us of our duty to care for each other. It's a day for somber reflection as we think about that time in our not so distant past where we failed to do that and the tragic effects that that has had on the lives of so many of our Indigenous neighbours and their families. We hope that the music will help. I've been spent away too long checking my tongue in the mirror and bending over backwards just to try to see it clearer but my breath fogged up the glass so I drew a new face and I laughed. I guess what I'm saying is there ain't no better reason to rid yourself of vanity and just go with the season. It's what we aim to do. Our name is our virtue but I won't sing. I can hear you. No more, no more. It cannot. Today is Canada Day, but uh, really, this year, uh, more than uh, uh, more than anything, uh, we we need to take stock um, and reflect on uh, the absolute horror. Uh, of the mass grave sites of Indigenous children that have been found in residential schools across this country um, and children in mass graves that we know that we will continue to find for months and years to come as these sites are searched. And today needs to be a different kind of Canada Day. It needs to be a day where we focus on reconciliation and uh, our role in reconciliation um, as Indigenous folks and as settlers. Feel it, when you feel it. Our blood will run more than your guns. Our life will live in honor of mm -hmm, all who've passed, all who fought, the precious souls who've taught us all. Mm -hmm, all our ancestors play all right here. Can't you see them so very clear? Mm -hmm. Healing all with every tear. Singing loud for all to hear. Mm -hmm. We are, we are, yes we are. And I ask that all of us gather here today. This day is, is about community. Let us all, as a community, commit to supporting the Indigenous, First Nation, Inuit, and Métis communities of this country in their quest to uncover the history of our country and to help them to go through the healing process. Thank you very much. <laughs> been an easy time. We can see the light at the end of the tunnel. We can see the light at the end of the COVID-19 tunnel. We're actually gathered here today together, socially distanced, but we're here together. And that means a lot. It's very different than what last summer looked like. And so, so very thankful for that.
has always been complicated for me. Um, it is an experiment in so many ways. When I think about Canada and Toronto, we try to strive for diversity and inclusion, but we also need to reconcile what's happened in the past. And that work around reconciliation, the reflection of what Canada means for all of us, is everybody's work. And I really feel strongly that we should be able to, as proud Canadians, stand shoulder to shoulder in this community, in this city, in this country, with Indigenous communities from coast to coast, recognize the historical wrongs, work today for the justice that must be achieved, and at the same time, recognize that Canada is a place of beauty and strength that we all continue to want to improve each and every single day.